BBN Quick Clips, videos that you might have missed. I'm gonna let five people beat you, I'm gonna love it over here, I swear to God. Yo, look, I love Wack 100, right? I mean, you know, not like that, I'm straight. But I love Wack 100. I mean, I think the dude's funny, dope. He be dropping jewels. People don't be picking them up. But Wack be dropping jewels, right? But I'm starting to think that Wack 100 is one of them real smart, dumb guys. Because point being is this. We see the climate that's going on in the world right now as far as how the judicial system is dealing with these contracts that they that these artists have and i've been telling y'all for about i don't know how long but i've been telling y'all for about two years now that these contracts are going to be under fire and that the courts is going to start turning these contracts over now with that being said meg the stallion has a contract out there right now in dispute and the courts is siding with her because it's not a good contract what in the hell whack 100 why would you make a comment, put something out on the internet so that Priscilla Rainey's uh, um, lawyers can now use in order to get your books opened up so they can see all of the business that you and your partners was doing? Because now apparently the game doesn't own any of the monies that his album is supposed to make. You are. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so, yeah. <laughs> so, apparently, Wack 100 owns all of the rights and masters and everything that deals with the game apparently okay so <laughs> for everybody that don't know the game had been uh, uh, uh sued a while back because it was a young lady i believe her name was priscilla priscilla rainey and they was on a show called i think she's got game or he's i don't know something and they was playing on the fact that the game's name is the game and somebody had it so they was on this this like reality dating show or whatever the case was so what ends up happening is the game goes and uh is accused of gra touching the woman's bare vagina while they're at a a uh a a dinner or whatever the case might be uh, i have a couple of questions on this and the first one is home home girl you went there with no panties and you weren't for the action i mean i'm not trying to i'm I, i'm just saying so ladies real quick in the comment section if you go out with a dude and you don't wear no panties, does that... I don't know, because I'm a, I'm a dude. Does that mean any... Is there any kind of assumption that somebody can make due to the fact that you just went out on a date with them with no panties? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. We are not um, shaming, by the way. I'm just, I'm just curious as to what the answer is. We are definitely not victim shaming. I'm just curious to what the answer is. Like, if this is, is this is a thing that happens. Because I don't want to be out on a date with a chick. I'd be like, oh, shit, she don't got no panties. It's good to go, and it ain't good to go. Anyway, point being is, WAC 100 is now coming out saying that he owns all of the rights to, um, to uh, the new album that the game dropped. He's saying basically he owns everything. Now... I, I have a couple of things I want to say about this real quick before we even go into the legal ramifications that could be behind this. And one of the things that I want to say is, I keep telling y'all, these rappers do not have the money that they act like they have. I've been telling y'all that this for the longest. These record labels, they hate SoundCloud. They hate SoundCloud. They hate freaking YouTube to a degree. They hate these things. Because these rappers are able to now make generate income without having to go do shows and work for it. Well, they work for it. 
don't get it confused but it's different when you just make a dope ass song and video then put uh, upload it and now you're getting paid then when you got to go to the drudgery of doing the show got to go do a show three nights out of the damn week for for fucking six seven months straight like that's just total different work if that could we be fair do you understand what i'm saying so basically whack 100 is saying that um game doesn't own anything so now real quick before we go any further do y'all remember um right now actually you should remember because it's currently happening in the media meg the stallion is having a problem with her record label because the record label wrote a contract, had Meg Thee Stallion sign a contract that was not in her best interest. And what is the courts doing right now? The courts is not abiding by that contract and making it. One of the things that was in the contract, so everybody don't know, so I could just show real quick that I'm, I have proof that the, the courts isn't abiding by the contract, is one of the things that's in the contract, it says that if there's ever any problem with the contract, they have to go to an arbitrator, a single person arbitrator. The court in Meg Thee Stallion's situation said, nah, that's a dub. We're not doing that. We're going to figure this out another way. No arbitrator over here, homie. So just so we could be clear on that, they're not abiding by the contract. I'm assuming that the courts in the legal system, and when I say that, I mean the federal legal system, has been trying to eradicate some of these contracts for a long time because a lot of these contracts put these artists in a situation where even if the artists wanted to talk to the federal government or the local government about a crime they can't because they don't own anything they'll be if they that's the end of their career they're gonna be that's that's done not only are they not gonna be able to generate new money but all the old money that they generated also they have no access to so when i hear that whack 100 is now talking about how he owns all the rights to the new the game album so how is homegirl gonna be able to get those rights first thing i hear is this just so we can be clear they're going back to court because every single thing that is in the game's name is going to be taken i'm going to say this again look how 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 often have i been wrong about this type of shit every single thing that the game owns is about to be taken what's gonna happen next listen what's gonna happen next is Whoever owns the game shit is now going to be sued for those royalties. She's still getting paid, y'all. They're just, because of their, uh, uh, you know, how steadfast they've been standing on their point. They're going to, one, they've already paid more because if game would have just showed up to court, I guarantee them to you, he wouldn't have to pay $7 million. She got $7 million because it was a default judgment for everybody that don't know. If somebody is suing you for something, you decide not to show up to court, there's a default judgment. The judge just gives you everything you ask for. That's basically what happened in her case. The game shows up to court. Maybe she gets a million dollars. Maybe she gets $500,000. You get it? I don't know who their legal counsel is. I have no idea who their legal counsel is, but I think that this is one of those situations where you got some street dudes that think that they smarter than the law and they don't understand that the law can change. They can literally change the law and I'm letting every single, um, I don't know, uh, record label and, and everybody that writes contracts right now, they're looking for to, to change these contracts over right now. The government in my estimation is looking to get the perfect contract to blow up to just go in you see what they're doing to the um to part of me i'm not even talking about the music industry but you see what they're doing to hollywood you know who's next right do you see what they're doing to hollywood they're taking hollywood apart brick by brick this was not a fight that Wack 100 and his people should have took up. This is not a fight that Game should have took up. They should have showed up to court. They should have gave that girl a little bit of money. They should have just went about their way. Period. Even if you want to say you still didn't do it. Look, I didn't do it, but I want I don't I don't care for these problems. Look, bitch, take a million dollars. <laughs> Part of my language. I'm, not, I'm just saying I, I think that's how they would have said it. But yo, look, take a million dollars. Get out of here. <laughs> you got big head anyway. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna say now. But the point is is that if they would have handled this the appropriate way by just taking their loss because sometimes you just got to take your loss if they would have just handled this the appropriate way by taking their loss they wouldn't have been able they wouldn't even have to pay seven million dollars this problem wouldn't exist right now whack 100 and his team is making the problem worse 
At this point, if it keeps going this way, I won't be surprised if somebody ends up in jail. Mark my words. I If it keeps going the way that it's going, I won't be surprised if somebody ends up in jail. Because you know what's the next thing, right? That somebody's books is going to have to be opened up. I'm going to say this again. You know what the next thing is, right? Somebody's books is going to have to be opened up. The courts is not taking it like you disrespecting this lady. The courts is taking it like you disrespecting them. I'm telling you. I want to know real quick. Leave it down in the comment section. Do you think that the courts is going to open up their books to find out where this money is going to and from so they could figure out how to get this lady her money? Yes or no? In the comment section, please. With that being said, um... I don't know what their next plan is. This doesn't make any sense to me. I think they should have just showed up the court and took their lumps. You rubbed the woman's bare vagina. She was not going to get $7 million. I'm going to say that again. You rubbed the woman's bare vagina, which was wrong, and she deserves money for her pain and suffering. Don't get this confused. But she was not going to get $7 million. You guys are the perfect example of taking a bad situation and making it worse. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?